Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. After a nearly decade-long journey, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft arrived at Pluto on July 14th, passing by at a mere 7,750 miles above the surface, resulting in this absolutely breathtaking image, the closest ever of Pluto. Initial congratulations included a Twitter post from the White House and from iconic figures in the scientific community. Now the solar system will be further opened up to us, revealing the secrets of distant Pluto. But before that could happen, the New Horizons team knew they still needed to hear from the spacecraft with one last critical piece of data. Whether it survived the passage through the Pluto system, and hopefully it did. That wait ended when New Horizons phoned yeah, home I just before 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. We have a healthy spacecraft. We've recorded data of the Pluto system, and we're outbound for Pluto. Today's mission was just one more step on the journey of getting humans to Mars because it gives us one more piece of the puzzle about our solar system. As a team, we all have made history. This can never be repeated. This is in the history books. I have to pinch myself. Um, look what we accomplished. It's, it's truly amazing. The so-called data waterfall released by New Horizons contains so many astounding images and detailed information about Pluto that investigators anticipate it will take about 16 months to send it all back to Earth. New Horizons' historic flyby happened 50 years to the day after NASA's Mariner 4 became the first spacecraft to successfully fly by Mars. Mariner 4's photos of Mars, the first ever captured of another planet from space, provided a better understanding of the Martian atmosphere, which helped plan landings for future missions to Mars. Also on July 14th, NASA Deputy Administrator Dava Newman was ceremonially sworn into her new job by Administrator Bolden at the Dirksen Senate Office Building on Capitol Hill. Montana Senators John Tester and Steve Daines hosted the event for Newman, who is a Montana native. The Deputy Administrator officially began her duties with the agency on May 18th. Data from the NASA NOAA SUMI National Polar Orbiting Partnership Satellite is helping the U.S. Department of Agriculture Forest Service detect smaller wildfires in more detail than previous space-based products. The high-resolution data have been used with a cutting-edge computer model to predict how a fire will change direction based on weather and land conditions. At the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, the Expedition 4445 crew, including NASA's Shell Lindgren, continues preparations for its upcoming trip to the International Space Station. Lindgren, Oleg Kononenko of the Russian Federal Space Agency, and Japan's Kamiya Yui are scheduled for launch on July 22nd. July 15th marked the 40-year anniversary of the start of the Apollo-Soyuz mission. The landmark mission saw a Soyuz spacecraft launched from Russia and an Apollo spacecraft launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida complete the first ever international docking between two space vehicles. Apollo Soyuz was an important precursor to cooperation between the two countries and construction of the International Space Station. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov/twan.